Hi everyone, welcome to Life with My Three Boy Variants and the 31 Days to a Better Photo series. Um, today I want to do a super brief introduction to Photoshop. And I say super brief because I've already tried recording this four times and they get like ridiculously long and I, I'm, I'm trying to be brief this time. So um, in the spirit of brevity, I plan to make several of these that are really short that um, will just do bite-sized chunks. So if you finish this video and you're like, wow, I didn't learn anything, um, that probably means that you're already familiar with Photoshop. The purpose of this uh, brief, I hope, video is just to simply show you what the inside of Photoshop looks like. A lot of people have told me um, I would never buy Photoshop. It's, it's too intimidating. I can never learn it. Um, there is a learning curve. That's true. I mean, I'd, I would never want to mislead someone to say that you can just open up and go with this program. There, there are some things that are um, pretty self-explanatory and some things that, um, that take a bit to learn. But um, I wanted to give you a brief tour of the geography and layout here. Um, up here we have the navigator. The navigator, you can either click in like this or you can use the slider here allows you to uh, look in at your photo at 100%. This photo that we're looking at here uh, is straight out of camera. It has not been edited or touched in any way. Um, and this also allows us to look at the histogram. I usually check histograms in camera, so I don't use it in Photoshop that often. But, um, you know, if you knew that your monitor wasn't um, calibrated you can certainly look at the the RGB values here um, the histogram or the luminance luminosity values here I can see right now looking at my histogram most of my pixels fall in the mid-range very few in the darks and um, that this 255 white is blown out that's um, that's the sky area right here and here that's being blown out um, I can also get some information as I mouse over this, it'll give me the RGB and CMYK values for um, pixels within my uh, image here. Mostly I keep it on Navigator. Uh, this down here is the Layers Palette. If you don't see the Layers Palette and you own Photoshop and you, you want to know how to bring that up, you simply go to your window and you go down here to Layers or you, you could press F7 if you have a Mac or whatever your keyboard shortcut is. I don't have an F7 because um, I'm on a laptop, I'm on a MacBook Pro, so, um, but I can come in here and check and bring up any of these windows. This is where you will see most of your work here, and if you don't understand this part yet, what layers mean, this is one of the first things that you'll want to um, spend some time researching. Over here, these are your tools. Sometimes you see them like this, all in one row. And this is simply personal preference. Some people know exactly how they like it to lay out. I personally prefer to. Um, I can find things really easily that way. Um, and I tend to get a lot of pop-ups down here in this corner from, from TweetDeck and um, who knows what else that tends to pop up. So I like to keep this up here. Um, these tools here, this is your move tool. This will allow you to pull photos on other photos um, I, I plan to do some some tutorials on very specific um, edits and actions. One on layer masks, um, one on actions, that one I get requested a lot. Um, but today I'm just going to show you a really basic crop. It's the first thing most people do uh, in Photoshop is they want to crop this. And I, I want to remove some of this really distracting blown out sky and put more attention here on my cute baby boy. So um, I go to the crop tool right here. The width and height will automatically come up from whatever it was last set out. Uh, if, you, if you click front image, what it will do is whatever the proportions of this specific photo, it will bring it in here so that whenever you move this, it will lock in proportion to your original photo. Um, so I can come in here and take a look at uh, the arrangement of this photo to make sure that uh, it best represents this. So let's bring in a little bit more of those pretty fall colors um, and less of that distracting white blown out sky. And um, yeah. 
And just like that, we have a crop that is um, very simply uh, done in Photoshop. And I hope you'll come back. And over time, we'll learn that Photoshop's not at all intimidating. And uh, there are so many amazing things that you can do. So this is my hopefully brief introduction. Thanks for coming by. And um, tune in soon for more fun with Photoshop. All right. Thanks, guys.